pretty cool, isn't it? It's crazy. Well, I forgot. I forgot. I was playing through in through a computer. Exactly. We thought we were playing through an amp. Anyway, welcome. Uh, this is guitars and gear with Pete and Rabia. It certainly is. And I am Pete. And I am Rabia. And uh, today we are not looking at something that we normally look at. This is kind of the first time we've looked at something like this, isn't it? It is. It's, it is. it's definitely new grounds for us. It is very new ground for us. Well, I as you. We record a lot of home at home, mm -hmm. so do studio recordings and yep. and you know go and do sessions and stuff. And today we are going to have a look at a new plugin for the Apollo Twin or all of the Universal Audio Apollo interfaces because interfaces. Yeah. Mm. they've got their own plugins. And this is a new plugin. Oh, it's ridiculous! Which is designed with Fender. And they've taken an old Fender Twin Deluxe from 55 and they've modeled it and put it into this um, you know like when they Lottie. you know like when they make computer systems for cars where they take apart an engine and then they build it back together so that they know exactly how it works the yeah. type of all the intricacies when it comes to doing the computer work for a car yeah. is essentially what they've done with this amp it's it's taken two years almost yeah. two years to uh, to literally Take it apart. Take it apart that, and, and, and analyze every little thing with the, you know, you probably watched this little video they have on the website, which is really cool, you know. It's it insane. sounds especially good at a waxing gibbon or gibbers. Yeah. It's probably not a waxing gibbon, is it? But Because <laughs> that would be weird. Uh, but so anyways, they've taken this old stock. They had two of them. They've taken them both apart and mm. they completely... Um, put it into this system here, which is absolutely ridiculous. And that's what you heard in the beginning. So we are running uh, into the high C or Z input of mm -hmm. the Apollo Twin, and it was a Strat. It went straight in. All we have is we've got an AB box on the floor here, so we can change between the two guitars if we mm -hmm. fancy. It went straight in, and I just had a little noodle around in the beginning while Rabir was playing, and that's all you hear. We're recording everything on uh, on this laptop, my laptop, and it's going into Logic. So we've got a boom mic which is the mic we record all the speech with, with, and then we're recording it straight into the Apollo, and that is that. You and couldn't you can be simpler, see, yeah. We, we're, gonna, we're going to um, screen grab the screen, and we're also going to have a camera on here, so, so you, you can, can see so you can see what's going on. Yeah. But basically, the, the Fender uh, Deluxe is basically, it's this circuit that, that people have used for so many, you know, it's 54, that's why we've got a 54, uh, Relic Strat mm -hmm. and a 52 Telecaster because we thought you know, and then you, you can't we can't compare to any amplifier because there isn't one. We no. don't have one. We're not Joe Bonamassa or Glapson or whatever. We, we don't, don't have millions of pounds. We, we haven't got one of these amps, so yeah. so we didn't um, we didn't. But it's it's the it's that classic uh, E five E three circuit, which which they have the holy grail of the Fender mm. uh, amp. And as you know, we use a Fender here a lot for our demos because it is just great. Anyway, let's just take you through the uh, the the um, the plugin. So we'll be running straight in, and then we're running into the console, mm -hmm. and we then so we don't get so we get no latency because the Unison um, preamps in here. So we run into that into here. We'll, we'll as you can see, I have put in the uh, plugin onto channel one, and here's the plugin, and it looks like the amp. So you've got. You've got on the top, you've got three different speakers. So mm -hmm. you've got the stock Jensen speaker, which was in the first one, but they've yep. also put in two other ones. So they put in a, a JBL speaker, uh, 120, and they've put in a Greenback speaker, 25. Mm -hmm. So you can, so you get a bit more than just just that, you know, because yeah. they literally put other speakers in and I guess it's to simulate that. the headroom of the speaker, isn't it? Like ones with lower headroom, ones with more. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, if you go back and watch, uh, we did, me and Mick did a, a video on two Princeton amps, mm. and all the, the difference was just the speaker. Yeah. One had a blue one nickel, and one had the stock 10 inch Jensen. Yeah. And the 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 amount of difference is just incredible. I mean, it's funny for me. I'm I'm not normally using any kind of amp modeling or any kind of technology like that before. So this is this is a first for me. Yeah. And I think for 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 Universal Audio, this is their first ever end to end uh, amp model. Yeah. So, so. They, they, there is some other models uh, amp, amps in here. Mm. This is the one that they've really gone gone really. Well, this is the first time they've ever yeah. done the entire amp. Yeah. In, in, in its entirety, yeah. as a digital model. Yeah. So which, it's, which is, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. So, 
So you have on the top here, it's like an amp, you've got your on-off button, you've got a line in and a normal, and we're running mm -hmm. it in the normal, that's the input. So if you run it to line, you get, uh, it, I'm telling you it's down with 14, minus 14 dB. Mm -hmm. You get the tone, like you have up here, so the tone control you can, you can uh, up and down. Mm -hmm. Instrument, you get two inputs, you get instrument input, like the old days. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to click here, and then you got a uh, microphone input, and you click by just where you want to put the jackpot, jack. Jack, jackpot, <laughs> jack, the jack cable in. If yeah. you want an instrument, or you want microphone, sorry, over here microphone yeah. or jack. And then you, if you dip, click twice, or just another time on that, it bridges it. Yeah. It bridges it up with with the old style, as you can see down here. It's kind wow. of an old school grey sort of uh, splitter cable. So you get to you run both of the channels at the same time, and then you've got uh, different microphones. So you got your SM57. Mm -hmm. You've got some old buyer here. You've got a, a Royal um, Royal ribbon mic as exactly. well. Exactly. You got yeah. a different, two different ribbon mics, and you got a con con condenser. Con con condenser. Condenser. <laughs> the Danish man. The Danish. <laughs> Danish uh, accent. And you can so you can move these around. So you can choose two. You mm -hmm. can choose just to have one by muting it. You can choose the level of the of the microphone. Yeah. You can low cut it. And you can choose the axis of it, so you can see when I'm on axis, off axis, so yeah. it's moving around, you know. Crazy. And and then you can you know you can choose another one here. You can have two of the same. So I see what they've basically they've made it slightly easier for for all those out there who aren't familiar with miking up uh, speakers by getting a placement that worked perfectly for the impulse that they're giving you. But yeah, you can. But then they've given you the option to have it on axis, off axis. Yeah. And obviously all the different mic impulses they've got. So. The hard bit's done. They've mic'd it up for us. They mic'd it up for <laughs> us. Uh, so we just need to get the playing right. That's yes. <laughs> that's the thing. And I actually, if it, when, when you listen to the the intros of these mm. um, of these videos, I've used the Apollo Twin, and um, uh, we have we use an Apollo Eight P. Yeah. For for all we do here, uh, to record everything in, and that's I use that for for playing stuff on her bass guitar straight into the. You know, three high set input there, unison uh, preamp. Anyway, so let's have some, have some uh, tonnage from you. Uh, I'm gonna go into the presets and I'm going to click default here. Default. And then we go back and then you can see what it is. It's a 57 and a Royal. And one of those off axis and let's have, let's listen to it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's ridiculous. Isn't that ridiculous? That's not. We haven't done anything. It's just the default setting, and you are playing, and I can see you keep going because you're kind of. That's what happens when you're inspired to play. Yeah, and it, there's no there's no latency on anything. It, you just play it. There's compensation for all that within the software and the in yeah the, and the, the DSP hardware, yeah. in in the hardware. And we got two uh, KRK mm. little speakers on the floor. That's how we can hear what it sounds like in here, and it sounds great in here. But you're right in saying that it doesn't. For a start, I mean, other than the fact that it's quiet because of the fact we're using the little studio monitors, you couldn't tell. I mean, it feels good. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Isn't Have a go. Have yeah, a go. yeah. I'll just do the telly here. Fifty-two telly. So and what you can do Sounds is great. really cool uh, little thing. So you've got the preamp, so mm -hmm. you can. So now it's all the way down. Mm -hmm. But if you go and you turn the preamp up, and I can roll the tone, the, the volume back. You can get those. Uh, 
like that's they were they, they were playing those the, you know that's this is the amp that was back then yeah. you know it was it's this is the for me it's the grandfather of all amps really mm. you know and in fact you can't buy one of these unless you've got a lot of money and you're lucky enough to find one and for i think it's about 149 50 quid uh, uk pounds and then it's about 200 dollars or something but that's that's great, isn't it? Really, uh, you're not really going to get closer than that without actually getting <laughs> yeah. hold of one. I know, but it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a listen to the presets, and I'm going to go into default here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see you just sit, simply select, and it'll it'll change all the parameters and pick yep. up uh, microphones and everything. So we we'll do the default. What I'm going to do is while you play, mm -hmm. I'm just going to switch between these three uh, speakers so we can have a listen, just to listen to the speakers. You play a little bit, and okay. then I'll. I'll start swapping from the three different speakers. Okay. Wow. Right. So that's the that's the, that's the stock Jensen. Mm -hmm. So there's the JBL. Honkier in the middle. Yeah, yeah. and here's, here comes the uh, greenback. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. It really is. We're listening to the speakers on, it's the KRK. Just the, the small so we can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my God, it sounds great. All right, so let's just try. Okay. Let's just try and go uh, tone. So I'll go okay. back to the stock. Okay. This is just default again. Yeah, oh, that's that is great, isn't it? Let me just try with it with the telly quickly. <laughs> wow, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it no, is no, very no. Good. this is just default. It's very um, what I like is that it's very responsive. Even though it's all a digital plugin, yeah, the tone control is really working. Yeah, everything yeah. works. And you know you, what you can do is a really cool thing is because you've got a preamp here, mm -hmm. which we're running into. Yeah, you can gain that, so you can you can get that's this is a tone from. Then you gain up the preamp. <laughs> And it works if you roll back. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, that, it does. It does that, you know, because that's a plug-in, and that's really that that works like that. Anyway, that's confused me. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm normally pretty good at working out how stuff works, but that the fact that it's responsive to your volume. Yeah. In, and, in and such a dynamic end. way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they've they've really got that. They've really got nailed that. Uh, well, it, as we said, it's taken them. It's taken them two years. It's so, insane. Uh, it's insane, man. Uh, let's try some plugins here. Uh, yeah. Presets. Presets. Yeah. Sorry. Let's try some presets. And we're running this without any reverb or anything. It's just the Fender Deluxe. Yep. Uh, plug. Okay. So let's find one we like. Yeah. There's loads, and you can make your own, of course. Solo Deluxe. Solo Deluxe. Let's try Solo Deluxe. Here we go. Neck pickup. Wow. Isn't 
don't That's know. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. I do want to try this uh, instrument, the different instrument. Okay. So, so I'm just going to swap you over to a microphone okay. input. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then back to the other one. Okay. Wow. Uh, and uh, let me just turn down the uh, here. Okay. Turn the preamp down. Go again. Changes those those four inputs there. It just sounds great, doesn't it? Hang it on. Does. Funny, but that particular tone That's that brilliant. instantly made me just go, oh, you, it sounds great. You just hear how, how it works like an amp. It's really funny because you know, we this is not just something we are saying, we actually haven't plucked this in yet. This is the first time we've this is the it. first time we plucked this in. We've set everything up, we came in here, we set it up and plucked stuff in, and it just sounds and we've great. we've had conversations before where we talk we like we talk about the digital modeling age, yeah, the world, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And, and I think go, we're yeah. a little bit more traditional in our views, but yeah. in fairness. Yeah. You're taking something super traditional yeah. and then rocking it into like modern day with this plugin. It really, it's really good. It's really going to appeal to those tech savvy older guys. And I mean, if you, you know, this is this is great. I've got I've got one of these, mm -hmm. and it is absolutely great. It sounds beautiful, and these pluck these plucks works so well with it. Yeah, it really, really does. It's all tied in together, isn't it? In yeah. The design. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's just great. Let's do more presets. Let's do more presets. Right, right, right. 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 I'm going to choose a preset. You play. I'm choosing a preset. Right. Let's have a look. What we got? Cinnamon '60s girl. <laughs> There is a song that has something to do with with Simonum and, and from the sixties. Then I do apologise. I can't uh, play that. <laughs> that's insane. All right, here we go. Nasal crunch. <laughs> Change the pickup really quick on uh, sorry the microphone to that. <laughs> saying insane because it's genuinely like it really is it's good, really it? impressive it really is finger style sparkle strat go on is that it style sparkle strat this is where i play really badly <laughs> oh all right it. tell you what you play on that mm. play some nile rogers uh I'm used to playing that with a pick. 
you can play with a pick. Play it on the front pick up. It's amazing. <laughs> Go, oh. go Brits and um, uh, Brits and middle. Brits and middle. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, ne mm. me neg and middle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you are, if you're looking for, you know, if you've got one of these, and you don't want to have an amp and mic it up. Mm. Um, with you know four or five expensive microphones, yeah, in your house. It's worth saying as well. It's really important to mention that this um, Apollo twin unit or any of the Apollo uh, interfaces have their own processors in them, so they take care of the processing power. So you don't need a super fast, ridiculously powerful computer to run it, because yeah. as long as you've got the hardware, yeah, uh, it takes care of that for exactly. you. Exactly, and with and with the console here, you can mm. run it with no latency because you plug it straight into there, mm. and it, you, it's got a special input for instruments in the front here. Yeah. You plug it in and then you run it into the console and into the into the logic as we're doing now. Mm. And that sort of takes care of, of any latency problems. You exactly. know, sometimes if you're recording into logic, you know, the latency and when you're playing is not accurate enough, this is just spot on. Mm. It really is. Wow. Yeah. And there's uh, you know go to go on the website, have a look because there's of course much more to it than than, than we've that we've gone through today. We've given you a few tones. I think Mark, should we get some more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Presets. British Studio Blues, come on, with the Telecaster. This one, it's this for me at least. This is for me is icing on the cake. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> And this is all the presets. So you got all of these presets, and and you can make your own. You can make your own presets. That is absolutely stunning. In the sense that I'm not thinking about the fact it's a piece, piece of, of software. software. You know, like I'm listening <laughs> and going, "This sounds great," and yeah. I'm digging in. You know, yeah. wow. Anyway, fair hats off. Hats off. Throw, uh, and, throw off. And, and just to mention also, it is exclusive to the Apollo platform, so you can't get this anywhere else. Well, that's fair enough. And all you, if you if you've got one of these, you know, all you have to do is just uh, click the 
the buy button and they go to the website and then they just you know you put you it's well, say your account and all that stuff it's I mean, simple and easy you, you could say oh it's a shame it's not on other platforms but if, if, if I'm honest if you're going to spend two years yeah. designing a piece of software yeah. then it's fair enough yeah. because it's it's part of the appeal yeah. it's these people the Universal Audio guys have spent so much time over this yeah. and it's clear it sounds obvious that they've done that you know yeah. spent the time <laughs> insane <laughs> anyway there we are this this is just great um, go and try it out I think you can come into Anderson's and I think you can plug in they've got them down at the uh, tech mm-hmm. uh, at the tech department they've all got linked up ready exactly, to go. linked up yeah. you can come in you can take a guitar from the guitar department you can plug it in you know if you are doing some home recording oh home recording on the road yeah you know what I mean, I mean for me I was just thinking of all the possibilities whether you're on the road when you're, you're on tour just, you, yeah. exactly on tour the little setup like this that's all you need man people you've are going to use this to record actual albums with and stuff like that you can I do guarantee that, it they you know I know people that have recorded albums on on mm. these things and it just it's just great anyway there need we are we say any more no we don't links will be below and thank you for watching Anderson's TV and Please subscribe to the channel for much more of videos like this. Yes. You know, if you haven't done already. And if you have, thank you. Thank you. See you next time. My name's Pete. I'm Rabia. Take care. Great. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. <laughs> I'll put that in the end. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs>